Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWithDesuCast.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry. Today is Thursday, January 7. The time is 4 a.m. GMT. Uh, today we will be taking a look at the chart of the Dow futures. This is a 60 minutes chart here. Now we can see many indices continues to make a new all-time high. And that suggests that the next leg higher has already started. Uh, and this is the Dow futures here. Uh, the shorter cycle so we ended this with one and with two in the minute degree here and uh, now we are in within the with three in the black so within the minute degree with three and should subdivide into another five waves so that's why you see the minuet degree one here to be ending soon as a five waves and then after that we're gonna get a pullback and as far as the pullback stays above this 29.765 uh, 29, in three waves uh, we should continue to see further upside over here uh, in the index all right so let's take a look at a couple of things here um, now first of all if you take a look at the momentum uh, now the momentum is to me is strong enough here to suggest that this is not something like a wave 5 because most people that is always uh, worry about the indices and so on they always think is this the end move is this the end move well the momentum here at uh, if you go to 4 hour especially let me uh, look at the 4 hour look at the momentum there is no divergence here at the peak here and this is telling us most likely this is not uh, a w I mean look at this 1 hour chart there, this is with 1 and with 2 in the minute degree this is the same 1 and 2 in the 4 hour right uh, now I cannot show all the time frames and all the labels for free because then uh, we got our own paid members and it will do disservice to them but I give you a context with partial label in the larger degree and here we got this 1 and 2 here which is the same as 1 and 2 here so we're talking about a cycle that started from the December 21st low, right? This is the beginning of the cycle. You can see, looks very clear, five ways up, a pullback, and then now higher again. Now, I think the only concern we got here is whether uh, this can be counted as a wave five, maybe from here or from somewhere else. But the thing is, uh, from the momentum, this is pretty strong uh, breakout or pretty strong move to the upside in the momentum no divergence of any kind so that is telling us this is no this is not some sort of wave 5 uh, but this is you know a continuation of the trend so what is the potential sort of uh, target on the upside well simply you can just simply measure like this and then uh, you can say okay it should at least reach the hundred percent now again we're dealing with short term here we are not talking about longer term monthly or weekly or what is you know like the top or things like no we are going to be talking only short term which is the purpose of this chart of the day so we can at least see 31,158 and potentially can even be more if this is some sort of wave 3 it can extend even all the way to the 161.8 which is 32,000 right so in the meantime in the shorter cycle then I think uh, we can conclude as long as we stay above here in the pullback we can continue to see for the upside so that's what the one hour chart here is showing uh, we should be ending this five ways pretty soon now again when I show something like this people some some people asking oh is this a sell for today like, we don't we don't do that kind of thing guys right we don't trade every single swing uh, trend always extends pullback can always truncate all right uh, now you think that if it doesn't pull back the forecast is wrong no it's not it's not the right side is clearly bullish so I can call this a one two one two which is a nest right it can be even stronger than what we are showing uh, what we are what we are saying is the right side is higher now if you still want to trade every single swing that means you probably uh, probably are not really into trading for a long time yet right because it's all about identifying the right side and trading with the trend 
because trend always can extend I can call this as a nest and keeps extending higher right so here if uh, the pullback if this five ways is going to complete and if we are going to do a pullback notice I use a lot of if if it is going to do a lot of pull uh, it's going to do this three pullback then as long as the pullback stays above here we should be able to find support in buyers right here in three waves and then the index can uh, then extend higher again all right, so that's the update here from the Dow. And as always, if you do want to check our service, uh, we have a uh, 14 days free trial and I will provide the link uh, in the description of the video. And see you all again tomorrow. Have a nice day, everyone.